Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka the OG Bojangles. I'm a streamer over on Twitch four days a week, but on Fridays I post first time movie reaction videos, and that's what this is kind of, but it's on a Tuesday. <laughs> I'm really trying my best to post more than once a week because I genuinely really, really want to, so this is gonna be a Tuesday video. I guess I should just, you know, rethink my intro just a little bit, I guess. Hmm. Anyway, I'm watching another horror movie. <laughs> Once again, this was not my choice. This was a level five Patreon request from Moonbrook. I guess she just wants me to suffer because we're watching Rosemary's Baby. I have never heard of this movie before. So when Moonbrook requested it, I was just like, what, what genre is it? And of course it just, it had to be a horror movie. You know, it just had to be one. It's fine. It's fine. I'll get through it. It's fine. Now I don't know if this movie has jump scares or if it's just creepy or somewhere in between. I don't know. I literally, once again, have never heard of this movie before. I don't even know who's like in it or anything. So that's usually how it goes with my reactions, but you know, either way, thank you Moonbrook for this level five Patreon movie request. I seriously appreciate the support and I hope that you specifically really enjoy this reaction. For those of you who are watching, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the continuous support. I appreciate you very much. And to those of you over on Patreon, I also appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you for the constant support over there. And I hope you guys are enjoying all of those full unedited movie reaction videos and the polls. If you did want to watch all the full unedited movie reactions to, well, this movie and to every other movie that I've watched so far, you can do so. It is over on my Patreon for $5 a month. The only slight upside to this is the fact that I am doing this during the day. With The Conjuring, I started at midnight. <laughs> All right, we're actually gonna start now. Okay guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoy this reaction to Rosemary's Baby and I'll see you at the end. I think this is probably the oldest movie I've watched so far. Yeah, this is, this is, the, uh, this is the oldest movie by like a good, good margin, honestly. Are you a doctor? Yes. He's an actor. There you go. Originally, the smallest apartment was a nine. They've been broken up into four, fives, and sixes. A seven E is a four. Oh. Originally, the do you have children? Uh, uh, we plan to. Oh, I thought it was stuck for a second. I was like, oh God, it's already happening. It's already starting. The gardenia passed oh, away uh -oh. a few days ago. This room, for instance, it would make a lovely nursery. Mint, basil. No marijuana? <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the outside and like going into this apartment, it kind of looks pretty ratty, but like this is pretty oh, grandiose. Is that going to be a problem? That's odd. It's going to be a problem, I swear to God. There's a closet behind that secretary. She moved it. It used to be there. I wouldn't touch that shit. Nope. No. No? No! <laughs> I already know this could be bad. This is, uh, it's starting. It's happening. Why would she cover up a vacuum cleaner and a towels? Oh. Maybe she was becoming senile after all. Oh. Is there anything else? Oh, guy, let's take it, please. That living room could be, oh, please, let's take it. Uh. Okay, Tell them you were oh wonderful, Tim. Uh, it's a big ass, ass wish I could talk joint. <laughs> He's pulling your leg, Rohani. He's, He's pulling that leg. Gone. Now that looks great. The Bramford had rather an unpleasant reputation around the turn of the century. Trench sisters conducted their little dietary experiments. They cooked and ate several young children, including a niece. Oh, lovely. Adrian Mercato practiced witchcraft. He made quite a splash in the 90s by announcing that he'd conjured up the living devil. Good. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> the house? The lamb. Oh. Oh, it's it lamb. Is it like a lamb shank or something? Uh, this house has a high incident on unpleasant happenings. In 59, a dead infant was found Fuck. wrapped in newspaper in the basement. So we probably, you know, shouldn't live there. But they're gonna. Because they're just... Ugh. Run, girl. Run. Roman, bring me out some root beer when you Thin walls. Not good. The first place I would go to would be not the closet that was locked. Hey, let's make that. Uh, <laughs> Say no more. I'm ready to go. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Oh. Okay. Damn. Oh, not the creaking. I not the. I hear the trench sisters join. Stop. Stop. All better. My name 
is Terry Gianofrio. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Rosemary Woodhouse. Oh my God, that's Rosemary. Oh no. I'm staying at the Castavitz, the seventh floor. I'm their guest, sort of, since June. What does your husband do? He's an actor. Gee, I watch TV all day long. I'll bet I've seen him. Oh, fuck me. Wow. Ooh. I have a good luck charm. <laughs> it might work for both of us. Oh, uh, probably not. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it? Looks like an egg. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Castorette gave it to me. It's good luck. Or anyway, it's supposed to be. Okay, it's on there. It's got some stuff inside. Ooh. I'm not mad about the smell either. The Castorettes are the most wonderful people in the world. Bar none. <sighs> I was starving and on dope and doing a lot of other things. At first, I thought they wanted me for some kind of a sex thing. <clears throat> but they've turned out to be like real grandparents. Jeez. It's nice. You don't have any family that could have helped you? A brother in the Navy. If you want my opinion... Oh, these walls are thin, thin. Good lord. Hey, uh, what the fuck is that? I mean, you can't just switch scenes like that, right? That was rude. Oh my. Oh, someone's dead. And so it begins. Get back. There's nothing to see. Oh my God. Get back. Oh. Will you please? What's her name? Terry. She's staying with some people named Castaway, 78. Oh my God. What the fuck? Who's. You folks Hello? What's wrong? Has there been an accident? You'd better brace yourself yeah. for some bad news. She's dead. Oh, God. I knew this would happen. What? She got oh. deeply depressed every three weeks or so. I told my wife about it, but she poo pooed me. Poo pooed? What does poo pooed mean? It was that fucking necklace, Definitely, dude. Absolutely. Thank you. Or he did it. Oh, no. Didn't she have a brother? She, she mentioned him to me in the laundry room. I'm Rosemary Woodhouse. That's good. 20 minutes in. We have a dead body. That's fine. All right. And it's really gruesome, too. Fuck. And they're all set to go now instead of having to start all over from scratch. I told Sister Veronica about the windows and she withdrew the school from the competition. What the fuck was that? What was all that? Was that like, I guess maybe something happened in the past? That's nice. Where is that? That's the TV room? Uh, well, only temporarily. It's going to be a nursery. Oh, you're pregnant? No, not yet. I hope to be as soon as we're settled. Well, Getting weird vibe from her. Oh. When you and Guy come over and have supper with us tonight, what do you funny. say? Are you sure it wouldn't be too much trouble oh, for you? Oh, honey, if there's trouble, I wouldn't ask you. So I'll have to check with Guy, though. I, I am, I am not getting a good vibe from this, this old lady here. And then him, he just looks, I don't know, either neutral now or just Bond unhappy. Got that part. Oh, well, that's why. Okay. Mrs. Castavet was here. She is the nosiest person I've ever seen. You know, she actually asked the prices of things. <laughs> okay. She invited us to have dinner with them tonight. Oh, Jesus, we don't have to do that, do we, honey? <laughs> Hell, we'll go. Be my good deed for the day. Yeah, I guess so. And we'll make it clear that it's just for this one night and not the beginning of anything, right? No, it probably will be. Mr. Woodhouse, uh, vodka blush? Yes, thanks. Vodka now, blush. to our guests, welcome to our home. Well, clearly vodka. <coughs> Carpet! This man's so cold. And he's still just holding the, the Do plate you down. From Australia? Hello? Oh, no. ah, steak's ready. Don't rush your drinks now. Uh, chug, 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 chug. Are you preparing for a show now? I'm up for a couple of parts. Well, I can't believe that you won't get them. Well, I can. Will you stop bending guys' ears with your majestic stories? Fair Goodbye, enough. darling. Thank Goodbye. You for having us. Oh, the stories are pretty damned interesting, though. I'm gonna go over there again tomorrow night and hear some more. Wow. She just got comfy. Damn. Rude. Hi, dear. We're not bothering you, are we? That's my dear friend Laurel Louise McGuinn. He lives up on 12. There's a light for you. <laughs> She's like, fuck. Oh. I love how they just whipped out their knitting and just made themselves at home. That's so funny. They're just like, oh, can we come in for just a little bit? This is for you from Roman and me. Just a little present is all for moving in. Is it gonna be the? Is it gonna be a necklace? Is it gonna be the necklace? It's lovely. Don't wear it. Green inside is called tannis root. That's for good luck. No, no. Throw it away. She probably even took it off Terry's dead body. No! Oh, yeah. Oh, no! I would chuck it out the window. Are you gonna wear it? No. 
smells. Literally, I open the window and just, yeah! Just fucking chuck it out the window. Hello? Oh, poor guy. They don't have any idea what's causing it? Oh, my God, that's awful. That's just awful. I hate to get it that way, but... <laughs> oh, I don't like when this. You, you have to speak. The guy that got the role probably died, huh? That's what it sounded mm -hmm. like on the phone. Donald Baumgart, he's gone blind. Gone blind? What he the fuck? He woke up yesterday and he can't see. What? Oh, oh my I've God. got the part. Yo, it's those old people. It's those Listen, old people. Uh, that that dude was probably just like, oh, I'll just make him blind. It's fine. Let's have a baby. A baby, you know. Mama, dad, dad, poo, poo, you know. You mean it? <laughs> sure, I mean it. Unbelievable. Sure, I mean it. I even figured out the right time to start. Look. Oh, you my really God. Really? Mark the calendar, no, sweetie. Sure I mean. We're making a child. Isn't it gorgeous? I hope we have the coldest winter ever. I would not wish for that, no matter what. <laughs> I just wouldn't. They're sick of that doorbell already. I just know it. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to be grandma, grandma and grandpa. Yep. Good. I'm surprised Guy even asked, says, right? Madame Monsieur shall have the dessert after all. Mousse au chocolat. Oh my god. Then it's one of her specialities. <laughs> Guy's such an asshole. I love it. I don't know. Why do I feel like everything that they're. Yeah, they're like eating it, eating it. She like puts like some like crack in it or some sort of addicting thing. Has an undertaste. That's the crack. <laughs> undertaste. That's the crack. <laughs> I don't get it. No. Come on, the old bat slaved all day. Now eat it. I don't like it. It's delicious. Here, you can have mine. All right, don't eat it. There's always something wrong. Oh, if it's gonna turn into a big thing. Look, if you really can't stand it, just don't eat it. Mm, it's delicious. It's, that's I I don't like it. I feel like the food that they're eating has like something it, in there. Please. Uh. There, Daddy. Do I get a gold star? You get two of them. Sorry, Not Daddy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. They're, I Did they really put, like, they... Did she fucking, like, drug them? Oh, good lord. Huh. Oh. Nice. Sleep is what you need. Good night's sleep. This is so crazy. What the fuck is going on? What is happening? What the hell is going on? What is happening? Oh no. What the f what is ah! Not the no, devil. Dream, this is really happening. Hi, what the fuck was that? Hey, what was that? What was all of that? That was the weirdest shit that I've probably experienced in watching yeah. a movie. Who knows if that was a dream or not? We don't even know at this point. They pr it probably wasn't even a dream. Like she even said in, in there. It's probably some crazy initiation. Oh my god. Oh. Don't yell, I already filed him down. <laughs> I didn't want to miss baby night. You and a couple of my I nails were out? ragged and and it was kind of fun in a necrophile sort of way. Oh What's the matter? Fuck no. That is I fucking horrendous. We could have done oh. It oh fuck you guy. You fucking creep. No. Nope. Nope. I am, an, I am officially in the I Hate Guy Club. Everything that I laughed at what he said before, it is now null. I do not like him anymore. He's a piece of shit. Oh. Now with this whole baby thing, I feel like the baby's gonna come out. They're gonna show the baby coming out and it's gonna be all like so like, like demonic or fucked up or something. Oh God. will probably come tonight or tomorrow. Wanna bet? Yeah. Quarter. You're gonna lose. When will I know? 
I'll call you just as soon as I get the results. Dr. Hill? Congratulations. Really? Really. Oh, good. Yeah. When will it be? June 28th. Oh, that sounds so far away. It is. Yeah. We'd like another blood sample. Is it just for blood sample? Uh, blood sugar and so forth. Nothing to be concerned about. Your pressure. Blood, blood sample. Blood uh, sugar. Well, I'll, I'll come in on Yo, is everyone in on this cult that's going on? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I got big bad vibes from. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. That's just great. Let's um, make this a new beginning, okay? A new openness and talking to each other. I've been so. Goddamn self centered. That's yeah, you're the a piece of shit. Is. Eh, sorry. I just I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't fucking like him. You know what I'd love to do? What? Tell Minnie and Roman. He uh, is under person. the spell. Oh my god, he's bolting out. No, he is just, he is so enamored now. This is, oh god. Those damn old people. That's what I call good news. One of the top obstetricians is a dear friend of ours, Abe Sapperstein. Right. Yeah, go to him so we can steal your baby, huh? Best is what you're gonna have, young lady. Oh, it's so, it's so bad. It's so bad. Rosemary, tomorrow morning at 11? All right. Yeah, <laughs> Poor Rosemary. I feel so bad for her. Oh, no. I don't know how to thank you. Oh. Uh, Just have a fine, healthy baby, that's all. <gasps> so we can take it. I wonder if the grandpa's name is Roman, right? I wonder if he pushed out Terry out the window because she didn't want to have a baby or something. Or she was like a lost cause. And they, oh, oh. Girl, take that shit off. No. Dr. Hill prescribed vitamin pills. No pills. Minnie Castavet has a herbarium. I'm going to have her make a daily drink for you that'll be fresher, safer, and more vitamin rich than any pills on the market. Oh. Yeah. What's in it? Snips and snails and puppies' dogs' tails. Oh, no. She's no, a really, witch. You want to be stupid, be non-violent stupid. Oh, she cut her hair. What's that? Don't tell me you paid for that. I have a pain since Monday. Well, did you see Saperstein? I'm seeing him on Wednesday. Well, well, this is ridiculous. I mean, why don't you see Saperstein? I mean, why don't you see him? Oh, I see him God. Wednesday regular. Entirely natural expansion of the pelvis. You can <sighs> fight it with ordinary aspirin. This is so messed up. Every the, everything that literally happened in the span of a single minute is just messed up. She got a haircut. Oh, you paid for that? He's he drank the Kool Aid so much that he's literally just like, why did you see the damn the new doctor? Blah blah blah. This is too much. This is too much. This is too much. This is a lot. Oh, she's having pains. The baby is going to go all sorts of effed up from that herbal drink and shit. You look great. It's that haircut that looks awful. You want the truth, honey? That's the worst mistake you ever made. Now, the worst mistake she ever made was marrying you and having your child. My God. Do I look that bad? Terrible. You're what is wrong with guys. people? Would you would you like to meet him? Well, if I won't be intruding it. No, no, please come in. This is Roman Castavet, Edward Hutchins. I I hate Mr. all Castavet of this. Makes a vitamin drink for oh. me every day from fresh herbs she grows. Yes, all yeah, according and that's to Dr. Saperstein's directions. It's probably what's killing you right now. Find. I bet expectant mothers chew bits of tannis root when nobody'd even heard of vitamin pills. Tannis root? It's one of the herbs she puts in the drink. Anise or oris root? Or tannis. He's kind of like wondering a little bit, yeah. It's good luck, too. And and Roman does not <laughs> like it. He's like staring at him. Doesn't look like uh, root matter, more like mold or fungus. Or yeah, something. that's probably it. He's Fairly a little skeptical. Let's look it up in the encyclopedia. He's gonna kill him. If you'll excuse me, I'll have to go. My wife is waiting for me. Oh, it's a pleasure. He looked so, so uncomfy. So we'll meet again, I'm sure. Yeah. She really oh, looks like unhealthy surprised. right now. It's a shame we haven't seen more of you lately, Hutch. With me being so busy and Ro being the way she is, I really haven't seen anyone. Well, perhaps what we can have dinner. What does that mean, soon. guy? Going, Say, is there another of these around? I don't see it, Hutch. No, it's not here. Oh Bye. no. Bye. Bye. Oh. This is so bad. It's Hutch. He wants to speak to you. 
told him you were resting, but he said he couldn't wait. Oh, no. Can you meet me tomorrow morning at 11 in front of the Time Life building? What is it? Can't you tell me now? I'd rather not. Uh, what was that? He wants to talk to me. What about? I don't know. He wouldn't say. Where are you meeting him? Uh, Time and Life building, tomorrow at 11 o'clock. She literally looks like she's she's dying, and and he is a nut. He's fucking whacked, and Hutch is catching on. Minnie, I'm going out now, so I won't have my drink at eleven. Oh God, he's not gonna be there. Oh, he's gonna be dead. He's gonna be dead. Is this Edward Hutchins apartment? He was taken ill this morning. He's in a deep coma at Saint Vincent's Hospital. That's awful. I I, I just spoke to him last night about about ten thirty. I spoke to him at 11. At the moment, he's totally unresponsive. Holy shit. I knew it. I fucking knew it. It's just progressively getting worse and worse and worse. You know what? I'm gonna go on a limb and just do a complete 180 in attitude. I hope she kills them all. How about that? Let's just, let's get, let's get fucking crazy. All right? Kill them all. Go, Rosemary, go. No! That is what I call the long arm. A coincidence. Yeah, no. <laughs> You know what I think? I think we better be going home now. What do you say? Oh my God, she has a whole ass whistle. Once I I, I say like eighty five times already, but I just I feel I feel so bad for her. To nineteen sixty six, the year one. <laughs> Happy New Year. She did it basically with the steak, and that was liver, I think. We're having a party a week from Saturday. Minnie and Roman are not invited. Good. It's going to be a very special party. You have to be under 60 to get in. I love that, actually. Good for her. Don't you think you ought to check with Dr. Saperstein first? Well, for her, I'm just giving a party. I'm not going to swim the English Channel. Yeah, really, right? <clears throat> well, haven't you heard? It'll go away in a day or two. That looks interesting. What's it for? She is really I'm just sick of it. Oh, you feel up to entertaining? Yeah, well, I'll give you a hand if you like. I help you dish things oh, out. No, thank you, Minnie, but I can manage. Drink your drink, huh? I'll drink it in a little while. Well, I'll wait. I'll save you the war. You'll do no such thing. It makes me very nervous when people watch me cook. Yeah, Scoop. that's well, very like fair. It too long. It's gonna lose its vitamins. Yeah, yeah. She's really, yeah, she's starting to really stand up for herself. Good for good for you. Good for you. Congratulations! Congratulations! You look like a piece of chalk. You make me feed you love. Can like people like stop commenting on her appearance? Like holy fuck! <laughs> you all right? Oh no. It's all right. It's good for her. Let her cry it out. Look at him in the background. He's just creeping. Go away. Go away. Sorry, girl. I want to talk to Rose. You can't. She's busy. She hurts so much. I'm so afraid the baby's gonna die. When did the pain start? November. Yeah. November? I've been in pain since November, and he's oh. not doing anything to help you? He says it's gonna stop. <sighs> Why? It sounds like a sadistic nut. Rosemary Payne. Oh, yes. Like that. Oh, please. That something isn't right. Yes. Go see Dr. Hill. Go see anybody besides that, yeah. that, that nut. Nut. You can't go on. I'm going to Dr. Hill Monday morning. Pain like this is a warning something's wrong. And I'm not drinking Minnie's drink anymore. I, I haven't drunk it for the last three days. I've thrown it away. You what? Is that what those bitches were giving you in there? Guy, I that swear to God. Rosemary, you got so... the best doctor in New York. I'm tired of hearing how great Dr. Saperstein is. Just want to go to Dr. Hill and get a second opinion. I won't let you do it, Rome. It's not fair to Saperstein. What are you talking about? Snap. What about what's fair to me? Snap, snap, snap. At least have that much courtesy pay, to tell me how you I'll... feel. Pain, stop. 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 Oh, hell. It wasn't that drink you made. No. It's alive. God, it's moving. I feel it kicking. Just like that, the pain is gone. Very coincidental. Oh. I hate this. I hate this because it's... This poor girl is just getting destroyed. Yes. Oh, my God. <sighs> yes. It was Hutch dead. 
Hutch is dead. Yeah, I, I'm I'm surprised he didn't die sooner, honestly. As you said, it's three weeks from the from the baby is due, so it's probably May, early June. And he got into the coma in like what, December? That's that's a while to be in a coma. I'm Grace Cardi. Oh, I was hoping to meet you. Thank you for calling me. I was going to mail this, but then I thought you would be here. What is it? A book. Hutch regained consciousness at the end, and he thought it was the next morning. You know, when you had the appointment? Oh, yes. Oh, that's crazy. I wasn't there, but he told the doctor to make sure that you got the book that was on his desk. He regained consciousness oh, at I'm the end. You, the name is an anagram. The name of the book? He was delirious, so it's hard to be sure. But he still died. That's insane. This is probably like a warning or some shit. I heard you commenced. Then he wasn't very long. I was late. I couldn't get a taxi. Oh, what a shame. Uh, Here, I'll hold her. No. At this point, she's absolutely a witch, right? All of those witches. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, Adrian Marcato. Name is an anagram. Oh, I mean, hey, this is helpful, actually. Using Scrabble for an anagram, that's, yeah. Comes with the fall. Elf shot lame witch. How is health fact? Now that really makes sense. Poor Hutch. Don't let your husband see that, Stephen. God. And don't even, you know, don't even tell your husband because he's going to be like, you're, 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 you know, fine. just like that. Do you know who Roman really is? He's Adrian Marcato's son. What? But he already knew that probably because he has drunk the Kool-Aid. Soon after that, in August 1886, his son Stephen was born. 1886, got it? That makes him 79 now. No coincidence. He's Stephen Marcato, all right. Yes. You don't think he's the same? What do you mean, a witch? His, his father was a martyr to it. They use blood in their rituals. And the blood that has the most power is baby's blood. And they don't just use the blood, they use the flesh, too. Rosemary, for God's sakes. They're going to take They're her baby. That's what I'm saying. We're not taking any chances with the baby's safety. I don't blame We're her. Stop let him move out. We are yes. not. Oh, yes, we no. are. Oh, good God. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. I don't think you're going to read any more of that. Uh, it's too damn bad. Like Give it to me. Don't give it to him. Ugh, he's gonna burn it or something. I understand how disturbed you must be to have him for a close neighbor. Is there any chance at all that maybe Minnie put something harmful in those drinks or in those little cakes? No, Rosemary. I'd have seen evidence of it long ago. You're in, on, you're in on it too, though. To. That's the thing. He's in on it too. Some pills that'll be adequate in these last few weeks. Oh, I don't know. Roman's very ill. In fact, confidentially, he has no more than a month or two left to him. Oh, shit. No he wanted to pay a last visit to a few of his favorite cities. They didn't want to offend you by leaving before the baby's birth. Now, I'm not going to wish you good luck because you won't need it. You're going to have a happy, happy life. Yeah, just Bye, go go away now. Bye. That's it. Bye. Toodaloo. Bye. Where's my book? Oh, I uh, put it in the garbage. Such a fucking asshole. Hutch gave me that book. He left it to me. I wasn't thinking about that. That's a terrible thing to do. I don't like these pit... Oh, good lord. See, I, I I knew the fucking doctor was in it. Like, of course. Chuck it. Thank you. Because the doctor gave her those pills, and I, I just think he's in on it. I really do. Witchcraft. Could blind, deaf, paralyze, and ultimately kill the chosen victim. Some cults there you go. That a personal possession of the victim was necessary, and spells could not be cast without one of the victim's belongings. The glove. Yeah. Is this Donald Baumgart? I wanted to know how you are, if there's been any improvement. Well, bless your heart. I've only broke six glasses today. Oh. Guy and I are both very unhappy that, that he got his break because of your misfortune. By the way, he has something of yours, you know. <sighs> what do you mean? Didn't you miss anything that day? You don't mean my tie, do you? His tie? Yes. Oh. Oh, well, wow. Well, he's got mine and I've got his. Was a trade. So, guy is in on it too, then? Is that exactly, uh. Is that, is that, is that how it's gonna go? Run, girl, run! Get the fuck out of there! Hell no! You are in labor, are you? No, but uh, I have to see the doctor. It's very important. Oh my god, this is so, this is so messed up. 
That's what I got from that, though, that her husband is in on it because he traded the tie. And so he took his to give to Roman. Hmm. That smells nice. What is it? It's it's called Dechima. Well, it's a big improvement on your regular, if you don't mind my saying. That wasn't a perfume. That was a good luck charm. I threw it away. Yeah. Maybe the doctor will follow your example. I fucking knew it. I knew it. Ah! Yes, the aftershave. <sighs> but it isn't, is it? Anyway, he has the same smell once in a while, whatever it is. And when he does, oh boy. I. F Haven't you ever noticed? No. Oh. Will you excuse me a moment, please? Oh my God! Can't trust nobody. Fuck. All of this, I knew it. Who can she even go to, you know? get Go to your friends. Go get a nice, like, apartment where they are and just live with them. Fuck this. Dr. Hill's office. Would you like to leave a message? Would you ask him to call me back right away, please? It's an emergency. I'm in a phone booth. Come on, Dr. Hill. Come in clutch. Come on. Come on. All of them. All of them. All of them. All in it together. Yes! Don't you worry, little Andy or Jenny. Kill them before I let them touch you. Yo, wait. What I said before, I was just being hopeful, yeah. but. Doctor, I've been to another doctor, and he, he isn't good, Dr. Hill. Come to my office tomorrow after five. And we'll no! Talk. Right now. What else? I'm not at my office now. I'm home. I've been up since yesterday morning. Oh, I beg you. Oh, no. I beg you. I don't. Oh, no. I can't stay here. <sighs> Is that the my doctor? Yeah, my husband may call you and ask if you I'm heard. not going to speak to anyone. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> He's dead. Dr. Hill is dead. He's dead. That is, uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, Dr. Hill is fucking dead. That guy who is just standing there is absolutely someone who's working with. Oh, God. He's he not dead? You. This thing of all, he's in they probably made some sort of deal with Guy. Yeah. They gave him success, and he promised them our baby to use in their rituals. Hatch came, and immediately oh, saw something was wrong, and they put a spell on him, too. Put him in a coma. Three months later, oh, three. he died. Oh, okay, maybe not, like, five then, but I no, thought. Maybe Either way. But one thing is for sure, they have a coven, and they want my baby. Certainly seems that way. Is he gonna believe her, or is he is he lost too? I don't know. He might. They may have. They might have gotten to him. I, I'm not believing shit right now. I was afraid you wouldn't believe me. I don't believe in witchcraft, but there are plenty of maniacs and crazy people in this city. Would you like to go into Mount Sinai right now? Oh, Doctor Hill, please be an actual like good person. I don't. Anything they've got. I feel like there is no happy ending here, but I'm just there's there's a little bit of hope. A little bit. Just lie down, rest. God bless Dr. Hill. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't say that too soon. Oh, I don't know about this. I have a feel. Okay, he's either in on it. It's gonna be okay now, Andy or Jenny. Or he's gonna call, like, a mental hospital. Monsters. Yeah, really. There's no way that something not bad is gonna happen, you know? Oh, what? Wait. No. No, this is, this is a dream. Yeah. Okay, good. I was about to say. I was sleeping. Oh no, it's gonna be burned. Fuck. Come with us quietly, Rosemary. Dr. You. Hill, you're such a fucking asshole. We gotta go home and rest. That's all it takes. Unbelievable, Shame. you mother. Ugh. I would try to just book it, even though she's pregnant. Probably won't make it very far. Now I'm wondering if Terry threw herself out the window. Maybe she was going through the same thing as uh, Rosemary right now. Run! 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 Go, girl, go. Go, go. Get the fuck out of there! Let's go! I would not go to your floor. I would just... I don't even know what... I don't even know. Oh, no. Oh my god, I feel like people are gonna be in here though. Uh, okay. Alright, I thought someone was gonna be behind her. Alice. Mrs. Dunstan is out. 
Hey, please hey, ask hey. her to call Rosemary the second she gets home. Don't, don't forget. Hmm? Don't worry, I'll tell her. Thank you. Oh, fuck me and fuck that. We don't want to hurt you, Rola. There's nothing but a mild sedative to calm you down. No. no <gasps> oh, my God. Wait a minute now. That's what I was thinking. Like, did her water break before in the hallway? Be in labor here. Yep. Here? Oh. No, she isn't here, Elise. I'll have her call you back. Get the police, Elise. Get the police. Call the police. Oh, my God. Oh, I hate this. And you, Jenny. I'm sorry, my little darling. Forgive me. I think it's gonna be all right. I don't think so. Where is it? Oh my God! Oh, the baby. Where is it? Oh, uh, you you wait here. One minute. Where's the baby? It died, probably. There were complications, Rosemary, yep. but nothing that'll affect future births. Oh my. Dead. It's in the wrong position. The hospital. I might have been able to do something about it, but you wouldn't listen. Honey, we can have others as soon as you're better. Oh fuck I you! Promise you, you can start on another in a very few months. No. As soon as you're better. I don't believe you. You're both lying. Honey. It didn't die. You took it. You witches. You lucky. This is so terrible. Abe says it's called prepartum. I don't know. It's some kind of a hysteria. Smash the glass over his really fucking head. Do. <laughs> Possibility of thunder showers tonight. People yeah, where is that crying coming from? Weekend. You hear a baby crying? No, I don't, dear. Did you turn the air conditioner on? Good idea. Oh, wait, what? It that looks like a, like a horn. I thought oh that was God. a horn. Throw it away. Oh, you're oh. a pill, Rosemary. Is that like a pump, oh. I guess? No. Don't do that. Why not? A little messy. That's all. I hate this so much. This is unbelievable. Oh my god, there's so many people involved in this. And like, they're, the, the baby's definitely not dead. I mean, they're taking, I guess, I, again, I, I thought it looked like, like a clown horn. I was like, what the fuck is that? But it's, I guess it's like a, 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 a breast pump for milk? Why would they even be doing that? Like, I, I don't know why she's not questioning that. Oh, I knew this shit was gonna have some sort of involvement. There's gonna be like a secret lair or some coven. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Go, girl, go! Time to go on a killing spree. Oh, it's good God. Oh, shit. Is the mother? Uh, Rosemary. Shut up. Rosemary. Shut up, you're in Dubrovnik. I don't hear you. Oh my god. There's like an upside down cross and everything. Oh, this, this, this baby is... Oh no. What have you done to its eyes? He has his father's eyes. What are you talking about? Guy's eyes are normal. What have you done to him, you maniac? Satan is his father, not Guy. He came up from hell and begat a son of mortal woman. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Satan is his father, and his name is Adrienne. Oh, girl, this is the time to snap. Snap! Snap! He chose you out of all the world, out of all the women, the whole world, he chose you. No! This is so crazy. It can't be! Try to kill it! Just... I know it's fucked up, but still. Oh, God! Holy oh, shit. Be a real mother to Adrian. You don't have to join if you don't want to. Just 
This is so fucked up. This is all just so fucked up. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh my god. Shut up with your old gods, or we'll kill your milk or no milk. You shut up. Damn. Mm -hmm. Bro, do something. Do something. No, fuck. Get the. No, no. Back up. You promise me you wouldn't be hurt. And you haven't been. Really. You are. I mean, supposing you had the baby and you lost it, wouldn't that be the same? Literally. So much in return, not. Yeah, that's a good, good idea. A good idea. You are scum of the earth. Scum of the earth, guy! Here, drink this. You'll feel a little better. What's in it? Tennis or Nothing's in it. Just plain ordinary Lipton's tea. No, I would just... I would chuck it at someone's... I wouldn't even... She's really handling this pretty well. There, there, little Satan baby. There, there. If there was ever a time to snap, this is it. Get away from here! You're rocking him too fast. Sit down. Get her out of here. She's an asshole. Don't mind your own business. Let Rosemary rock you. Yo, Laura Louise needs to take it down a fucking few notches, all right? Good lord. Did she just go like a child? Oh my. I'm gonna do something. No. No, Rosemary. Oh, we're gonna look, we're gonna see this baby. Oh, no, we're not. Oh my God, we kinda got a glimpse before, but not much. I can't believe this is the end. <laughs> I can't believe that was the end. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, I cannot fucking believe that. So by the end, she was just like, you know what? I'm cool with this. I'll be, I'll be Satan's child's mother. Oh my God, what? <laughs> what a fucking mess this was. That entire movie was absolutely insane. That's, I just have like no words <laughs> to say at this moment. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know. I have no idea. I think like first and foremost, this felt like a really like a pretty long movie because the scenes were so drawn out and like kind of like personal i guess so that made it long like it felt long and like in this case i don't see that like as a bad thing but like that was just kind of something that i noticed it's just like this is like a long movie because they're really like i mean they're really pushing it with you know like just showing how people are like feeling and everything and it was just you know well done in that way but this was just absolutely insane crazy just over the top like what the fuck is going on like I did, <laughs> I, you know, of course, like in the beginning, it's just like, yeah, there's definitely something's gonna happen, but it, it really played out in a way that was just what, like, you know, it's <laughs> because, you know, like as the movie continued, the more you realized everyone's in on it, everyone is a part of this, no matter who she goes to at this point, her immediate surroundings are witches. And they're all in on it. And I think that's just absolute insanity. And like in, in like the beginning of the movie, you just, you see it happening. You just like, it, it's, it, I, that's what I was saying the entire time when Guy was acting just like, so like all four, you know, Minnie and uh, Roman, uh, but just like 10 minutes prior, he was just like, ah, oh, do we really have to go? But they, as the saying goes, they drank, uh, he drank the Kool-Aid. And in this case, the Kool-Aid I think was the moose. <laughs> It was also probably just any food or anything that was given to not even just Rosemary, but to Guy as well. It's like the dinner that they had, the steak, uh, and then definitely, you know, that, that chocolate mousse is probably the, the kicker there, you know? And it's insane to me how, like, Guy was like, it was funny. He was a funny character in the movie for the first, you know, 15 or 20 minutes or so. And then I just hated him hated him it was a complete 180 when he started to just act the damn fool and just the oh my god just like the 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 vile the vile things that were done that he did and and then just all of the nonchalantness of the situation and 
he's watching as the person that he supposedly loves is going through hell. Literally, I think in this this case, actual physical hell. Uh, and and he just doesn't care. As it was mentioned a few times, like even throughout the movie, actors are self-centered. They do self-centered things. He did a self-centered thing, which was he gets more fame in the for the price of sacrificing his his child, his potential his, his his future child, and basically his wife as well. And I just that's <sighs> thinking about it just like right now, and I, I know I just finished watching this movie. I think he's probably like one of the worst characters in any movie that I've seen so far. Uh definitely in this, you know, with uh, our series going on, the reactions and everything, definitely he's the top. I mean, there were a few characters in uh Green Mile that really took that too, but he's he's getting to the he's got that top spot for right now. He's uh he's pretty fucking awful. And then, you know, like there were just points in the movie where people are just like you know commenting on her looks and just like how she looked awful and it was just it was her husband it was her friend it was several people and it's just like i just felt terrible for her i felt terrible for her throughout this entire movie god i just i really wanted her to snap though i really really wanted her to just start stabbing people like that's i <laughs> I really wanted her to, honestly. I said it like five times in the movie, especially in that last scene, which was all sorts of levels of fucked up, right? Like that was just, oh, oh my God. When she, when she brought that knife in, I thought it was like, it's happening, here we go, here we go. But no, she, with that little, little tiny little like smile at the end, she seems to be just all for it because at the end of the day, it is her child, no matter what, I guess. And I guess in a lot of ways, she was just kind of desperate to have that child. And so she got it. It's a satanic child, but she got it. And clearly I'm all over the place, right? I'm going from this scene to that scene to that scene because that's just how this movie just impacted me. It was just utter, absolute insanity. And I did not expect it to go down this route. And it was really good. I really, I in, overall enjoyed it because it was just bonkers. Absolutely insane. So we got... Rosemary, who, you know, I really wish she snapped. I'm just gonna keep saying that because I was rooting for her. I was rooting for her, but she didn't do it. Unfortunately, that's okay. And of course, again, I feel terrible for her, just everything she went through. Just, it was, oh my God, it was just all, I mean, when, when she had that like hallucination drug trip, that was, that, that was real. That wasn't a drug trip. That was absolutely real. And I, I think parts of it were probably, a hallucination like the parts on like the boat maybe that was probably some magic witchery you know but uh i don't i don't necessarily know if that was any sort of you know like symbolism to anything in her background or something i'm not sure but that whole that whole ritual thing yeah that definitely true <laughs> there was one other part and it was kind of confusing i still don't really i'm trying to think of the connection that it had i thought it was a flashback but I guess it wasn't, or maybe it was foreshadow. I'm not really sure. I don't really know. Or maybe it was just one of her dreams and that was Terry on the floor dead. I'm assuming, cause that was kind of the same like position that she had and everything. Well, like with the nun and you know, maybe that's just the, the symbolism because of her religion and she's dealing with witches and Satanism and everything that, that might just be it. We already talked about Guy, but you know, I just, I hate him. Again, it was just the nonchalantness of everything. Like he's a dick and he was vile with the whole like she was passed out and he oh god no like that that's on a whole level uh, other level of fucked up and we all know that but at the same time it's like i guess it's technically not even his child right like now that i'm thinking about it even more it's like maybe he was just saying that just to cover it up and like yeah it's a fucked up thing but i think he was just covering up because it's te technically like satan's child right like i guess that's not even his kid whoa either way that's fucked up Either way, messed up completely. Yeah, so he's on the hate list for uh, a character in a movie. So he's there. You got Dr. Saperstein who was just in on it and he was just, just not great at all. I, I knew or like, I just knew that he was in on it. Like Dr. Hill was kind of just like, ah, it could be, he could be actually helping her. But of course this is not going to be a happy ending. Of course it's not. Uh, so he's, <laughs> he was either going to get killed or he's a part of it. So he was a part of it. So doctor sucked. Guy sucked. Of course you have Roman and Minnie who were batshit in their own ways 
and that was just immediate right like you 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 knew already that they had something to do with from the moment that terry was on the ground blood and all on the damn street and them walking towards it i knew it I knew they had something to do with it him and his pink outfit with a little hat on oh my and you have the whole like i guess the coven of just all these like ladies old ladies and, and gentlemen as well and and they were just they were all terrible especially laura louise she annoyed me why is the baby crying you're rocking it too hard you stupid ass anyway but she was just mean she was just a mean lady really the only great people like actually good people to rosemary were her friends the like the three women that were with her while she was having a mental breakdown rightfully so right like she was oh my god they were good i wish oh god in a in a happy ending sort of world she would have been living with them instead but unfortunately no but again she at the end of the day kind of did drink the kool-aid fully because she seemed to have accepted that child as her own even though it was satan's so welcome to the family all of this was just a, a wild ride this was just a complete roller coaster of insanity and it wasn't a horror it definitely wasn't a horror i thought it was a horror that was my mistake if i that i mentioned it before it was definitely like a psychological thriller with horror elements but either way it was a really well done film and it really had me on my like the edge of my seat you know it was a lot it was a lot of in a lot of ways like slow build up but it was good because it all it wasn't boring it, it was it all contributed in some way to the story and that's always good in a film <laughs> they have an insane plot an insane story terrible characters like terrible in the way that you know they're <laughs> they're just awful people right but then you have just the the very inno innocent in a, in a lot of ways victim rosemary who just wanted to have a child and unfortunately people just took advantage of it because she was you know quote unquote weak in that way i guess but oh god i really wish she snapped Ugh. i wish she did damn because that would have been fun to say that really would have been but yeah i really hope that y'all enjoyed this reaction to this roller coaster of a movie especially you moonbrook i hope that you enjoyed this because you were the one who told me to watch it with your level five uh tier on patreon I hope this was a good reaction for you and I thank you for doing that over there and uh, supporting me in that way. I appreciate it a lot. If you did enjoy this reaction, please feel free to like the video and if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. If you did want to watch the full unedited reaction to this video and all of the other videos that I have watched so far on this channel, you can do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. And of course, thank you to the patrons I do have already over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for the support and I hope you are all enjoying your stay. If you did want to find me outside of YouTube, you can absolutely do so. You can pretty much find me anywhere at the OG Bojangles. But I'm mainly on Twitch four days a week, Monday through Thursday at 6 p.m. EST. Again, thank you Moonbrook for this recommendation. I hope you enjoyed it. Everybody else, I hope you enjoyed this reaction as well. It was truly a roller coaster and I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next reaction video. Okie dokie. Have a good one. Toodaloo. Adios. And goodbye.